Saturday night. This is a Sunday for you. Hello. That's the raspberry beer from last week. Oh, it's nice. That ra the raspberries just hit you straight away. The chocolate. Is it there? Is it not there? It is a good beer. I, I, I should say that I think when I was doing that video. Uh, no, this is actually two weeks ago. I was doing the video for that. I was kind of, I was, I was a bit confused as to whether it was good or not. It wasn't. I, I kind of came across that I wasn't overly happy with it, but it was. I am. Um, it's just I don't brew beers like this. I think I might have said it at the time, very often. So I don't know where I am on the scale because there is no scale really. But I'm really enjoying drinking it. It is nice. It is good. Could be better, yes, it could be, but um, yeah, it is what it is. So, I am enjoying drinking it. It's very easy to drink as well. I said that as well in the video, and um, you just it's just time and again, time and again. I mean, this is gonna go down in no time. Little salty finish, everything's good, just tweak the chocolate. I want more chocolate, I want to come through a bit more, but hey ho. So, I'm prepping for a brew day tomorrow, okay? Basically weighed out all the grains, the water's sitting in there. We're gonna set the grandfather then, the timer. I never used to do the timer, and now, ever since I started doing the timer, I love the timer. I love the timer, it's great. Just having everything ready when you start, whenever you want it to start. Um, It's good, it's good. I knocked it at the start because, you know, I'm an idiot. But uh, yeah, I really like it. So yeah, we're doing a, a hoppy saison, okay? So this all came from Graham Hughes. Uh, sent me a beer mail last Christmas, and it was like a citrus saison. And I don't know where he got the recipe from, or if he conjured the recipe up himself or whatever, but it was amazing. I don't have the recipe, okay? So uh, I've never actually brewed a saison before. So I've kind of worked something out Okay, based on what I have in stock, because I'm not buying any more malts or anything like that. I've gone with Belgian malts. So I've got some Belgian pills and an old sack of Belgian pills that I need to get rid of. I've got some Wheat Blanc. It's Belgian. And I've got some Light Munich, which is closer to Belgium than... Is it closer to Belgium than where I am, Munich? I don't know, but... <clears throat> so that's the plan tomorrow. We're gonna to top it with Simcoe. Now I was trying to work out whether to whether to put to do it like a dry hop on it. Okay, so I've got Laumann yeast, right? Which is hopefully that's it on top. That one there, okay. So this is the Lalbrew Premium Series Farmhouse Hybrid Saison Style Yeast. Okay, so hybrid, presume, I don't know, I've, no, I've not actually looked at any of the information for this. Presumably hybrid means there's another yeast in it. Um, but I'm not really sure. Uh, but, but, but anyway, never mind all that. But basically, what I want, I think I want it to smell like a saison, okay? Otherwise, what's the point? But when I taste it, and I, think I, I think this is the way Graham's was. I want to taste the Simcoe, okay, in there. I think Simcoe would be a really good hop to use in that. Because of, just because it's funky in a funky beer and yeah. So yeah, I've gotta be brewing that tomorrow. Hopefully it'll turn out. I'm gonna send Graham a bottle as well too. To yeah, so he can compare it with the one that he brewed probably, you know, a year previous. But so that is the plan. So, I've been out here most of today, okay? I'm in, in and out throughout the week, trying to sort out the garage next door. So I think the last time I did one of these, I showed you what it was gonna do, or it was like halfway through it, wasn't it? So I'll go ahead and show you now where we are. We're nearly, nearly at the end, nearly at the end, but yeah, come on, I'll show you.
Okay, so let me just take a step back so you can see how much space we've got now. So look at this. So look at all this space we have. This is excellent, right? So the whole plan was to, we boarded up the walls like you've seen that the last time. We've now got all the bikes and stuff on, which saves a lot of space because they were in the corner and then it was just metal above, so I couldn't store anything up. And then even if I did have something, I couldn't reach over the bikes. So now they're tucked away nicely. Um, and there's a little bit of space in the corner for other stuff as well too. I've still got spaces where I can fill in and all. The chairs um, go on nicely as well as some more tools and whatnot. The racks, so that rack was always there. And then one of the racks was kind of the, that way facing this way or facing this way and then that rack was over there so we've now got them all across like that and that obviously frees up all the floor space now when my wife sees this she's gonna think oh look at all that floor space and then she's gonna say oh you can put the furniture the garden furniture no the garden furniture staying outside all winter i told her that i warned her of course it won't mean anything because she'll do it anyway and then yeah, we've still got that little bit at the top of the door to finish. Let's not worry about that. Okay, so here. So that two wall obviously was over there. It's now attached to this. So I built a bit of a frame. Which is what I want, because I wanted this to be left a bit more open, which is what it is. Okay, so we've still got, still got this kind of tall boy drawer. Thing here you'll notice that it's not actually attached I run out of wood I run out of this type of wood earlier so we need to finish that off tomorrow but yeah so the plan then is to to I can store the drawers in there nice and flush there and then that little thing there so it's not in the way it's not in the way I don't I hate stuff on the floor but if it's tucked in out of the way that's fine and then I've still got a bit of space here and a bit of space there and there's some like barbecue stuff and whatnot still to go in but yeah we're winning and then yeah so we've got this little kind of workbench type thing so i'll be brewing there plugs there obviously i can now have somewhere to put this stuff when i'm charging it the worst drill in the world it's still going i shouldn't knock it but it's it's a very close to death's door but i shouldn't knock it because it's built basically it's worked and built everything so well done drill for being the worst in the world um so yeah yeah it's not i'm kind of we're getting there we're very close obviously i'm gonna be brewing brewing here tomorrow i'll take video and then we'll see what what it is so we can put like stuff there it's just gonna be handy to put stuff down not to leave it though that's the thing and then yeah we've got the tool wall so the reason i've got the tool wall is that i hate what I do all the time, and I was doing this today as well, anytime I measured something with a tape measure, I put it down somewhere. It wasn't putting it down there, it was like round there, or it was over there, or it was on one of these. And then every time I put it down, I couldn't find where it was again. So that's kind of the purpose of having all this stuff sitting there, so I can see it. I love putting stuff on, hanging stuff up like that, so that I know exactly where it is at all times apart from the tape measure today sometimes it was outside but yeah so we're going well the last thing that i obviously want to fix up is to sort out the floor now we had storm betty come through here last night and it was grim in here so it's it was flooding just under the door i said flooding but it wasn't it wasn't huge i had to put a load of rags down just to keep it rained all night really heavy it's only in the middle of August and this is like the second storm that's come through already. So something's going on in the bottom of the door. So I might need to get some, some kind of sealant or something and put it under there. I need to work out what best to do. But any kind of persistent heavy rain and that starts to come through. And because there's a dip in the floor, it just runs all the way, all the way across. I don't know if I told you the story about the concreting of the base, but yeah. And it goes to the other side. Also, there's a tiny little issue over there, which is fixed temporarily because I put something on the outside. 
and then just underneath kind of between the wheel and the seat there there's a little patch where it, it kind of gets wet as well too so I might need to put a bit of sealant or something all the way across especially that shitty bit over there so I've regaled you with tails off the garage so I'm completely knackered now because I've been out here literally all day finishing that off still more to do but I'm conscious of the fact that we're now in August summer is summer's technically still here but it's gonna be going soon and I want to get the floor painted and the need to get all that stuff outside or a lot of it outside when I'm painting the floor and I obviously don't want it to be rain and wind and all god knows what else ideally and I don't want to have I mean worst case is I can just like move stuff to the one side to the other and then paint that um, but I want to get it where it's still warm outside and it'll be it'll dry and cure this is floor paint so it needs to cure as well so it's not just when it's dry it's good to go because it's kind of thick and yeah so we need to do that I also want to do the floor in here because the floor is a disgrace but you know out there has always been the priority so we'll do that first and then if we can still do in here again it's because it's well, if it's dark and if it's like cold and wet and dark and stuff coming into the winter and it's just you don't want to be painting floors at that point can do but it'll just take longer and I'm in and out here all the time so so yeah but if I can get in there done that's the main thing um, so the only other thing then just as I see them sitting here so I was going through my booty from London Craft Beer Festival last week um, again apologies to anybody I was poisoning or because I was really drunk okay I'll, I'll be honest I was really drunk I had a good laugh when I was making that video as well too um, and it was just like at some point along the way it was clear I just got drunk and it was after that whole tasting bit where we were given like three cans of beer in the space of about 10 minutes or 15 minutes and I think after that it was just like woo, you know so yeah anyway let's rattle through this okay and see what we've got because I don't want to be this video to be 20 months long okay so we've got some stickers okay I was really good at getting stickers on beer mats especially because I want to extend beer mat wall over there um but and I started off well but then I kind of lost I just I was getting drunk basically so we've got that moon wake whatever moon wake is I can't remember to be honest we've got this this is the this is the most awesome one is that renegade is that renegade brewery but it's basically Sasquatch excellent in fact there it is renegade brewery we got Beyond Belief Brewing, Triple B, excellent. Another Moonwick one, uh, Elusive Brewing, nice little gaming logo. Um, BTC, can't remember half these. BTC, whatever BTC is, don't know. Two Flints, a nice little, is that holographic? Is that what that is? You know, with one of those silvery ones that. That shines north. I was looking for the triple fruited goose by North because it north because I get it every every year, but they didn't have it for some reason. So, but all their stuff I always find their stuff's really good. Um, although I still haven't bought a case of beer from them, which is strange. So, anyway, so in terms of beer mats, then got some Moonwick. Probably better that side. Moonwick again. It's in the sticker. Budvar, nice. Four Pure. I've got, don't have them an awful lot. Tempest. North again. I don't know if I've got a North one already, but. And then the last one, I got this out of the boozer because I was conscious of the fact that I hadn't got too many beer mats. And it's like Cruz Campo. That classic um, lager from Seville. Yeah. And that's it. That's pretty poor effort for me for. Um, for you know, that's the only reason they go to London Craft Beer Festival. 
is to get the stickers and stuff. Now, to be fair, I've run out of space on both of these fridges. Um, so I'm going to start sticking them on this fridge over the top of the, all the Brewdog stuff. Because it's all starting to fade in the light because I've been there for so long. I actually expected this fridge to... I mean, just want to say, I see there's stickers on the side. Even though I can't see the side, I can just see the corner. And there's stuff in there. Off. I don't know what. There's a Dr. Hans one. Hold on. Let's see this. Oh, things. There's Jack's Craft Brewing. Pineapple Express by Verdant. And... What is that? I can't really see it. But yeah, there is stuff sitting there. But yeah. Anyway. So, let's wrap this up. So, I've got a brew day tomorrow. I need to go and get wood to finish that off. And then I'm going to hope to God that I can get two days, ideally two days, at the weekend, not during the week like it usually is two days at the weekend um, where I can put the stuff outside get the floor painted ideally get the whole thing painted in one go and then in the morning and then bring everything back in again because I think it's only going to take one it's only going to take one coat this is really thick stuff that floor paint excellent stuff really good obviously it'll wear away eventually but if I can get that done get the ceiling done as well too because I need to stop any kind of water coming in ideally and then we will be ready for the winter and it shall be a nice little I'm happy with what's going on out there I'm really I'm very happy especially now that I've finally got my little workbench and kind of the tool wall and stuff up there so I'm quite happy with that how that's turned out so it should be nice when I'm brewing tomorrow to have something to put stuff on I mean I can put the camera on there as well too if I don't have the tripod and it'll be there and yeah excellent so happy homebrew sunday what is this lazy sunday hello lazy sunday hello lazy sunday hello goodbye <laughs>